Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to apply any of the iClone Motion file in the 3D avatar of your Blender 3.0. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. In your Blender 3.0, for example, you already have an avatar. This is a rig avatar. And you want to apply any of the iClone Motion files from another software, you want to apply it here that is the body motions what you are going to do is just export it first click file export as the fbx file and always remember the path mode you have to choose copy and then click here to make sure it highlighted and then as demo i will export it on my desktop and i will just name her as asian Asian girl you want. I export this as FBX file first. And now it is already become an FBX file. And next, in your iClone 3 d Exchange 7, you drag in and click OK. Get the iClone 3 d Exchange 7 software. So next, at this moment, what you are going to do is just drag it down, click convert to non-standard, and now you are going to convert it. First, you have to check which one is the head. If you double click this skeleton, and this is the head, so you have to plot it first. And next, you click here, this is the neck, you plot the neck. And then, next one is the arm. Then, the hand. And also, the finger. You plot it, plot all the fingers here. Now the middle finger Now you left two more finger and one more finger Alright, now done Then you have to map another hand This is the right hand Start from the arm, the forearm, and the right hand. Next, you have to scroll, rotate to this manner, click here, map the thumb, and here. Map the middle finger. You have two more fingers. And now you left one more finger here. Alright, once done already, click here. This is a hip bone the spine and you have two more spine here you, you click here map the spine and we can ignore the shoulder bone next the tight the leg And finally is the foot. Okay, now done already, you take active. And then what you are going to do is just export it. Export it as export it as the I avatar. Wait. This one you have to click convert. Now you can export it as I avatar. This is the non-standard character 
the target version is icron 7 and here you only export the geometry and you browse as demo i will export it on my desktop and click ok and click ok now it is exporting as an i avatar you just need to wait for a while until it finish successfully exported click ok the i avatar is here next you can just open your icon 7 3d animation pipeline you drag in the i avatar drag to the center and then now you can see the eyes got problem you also can just double click it and go and fix the eyes it is the high poly i right click adjust the color sorry no i just need to copy right click paste it will automatically generate the opacity map now the eyes also get fixed and just now as i say how to apply the icon motion file for the blender 3.0 avatar the 3d avatar now already in the, in the icon you can go to the contents click here you can find any of the icon motion file from here for example i want the hades motions choose from here the perform i want her to have some dance right this one the dance now i can just try Try to see the animation. Yes, now it's okay. So if I want to apply this icon motion file, and next you have to check how many frames are there. So this is the one. So here you have to click and then speed to window. You scroll down and then you make sure that it is it is within if it is more than 1800 frames you have to go to the project and then the total frame you change it to become more let's say 3000 then you click here to fit to window again now you can see the whole project you have 3000 frames and this animation is only until here so you can just set the range set the range just exactly how much the animation is so it is here so until here it will stop this is the end of the animation so now you can see the whole animation you want to apply on blender so what what can you do is in your icon 7 3d animation pipeline you already set the range you can click file export export it as fbx file and so the target tool preset you choose blender embed the texture and you choose the range we only want the range and you export it as demo i will export it on my desktop i will name her as asian girl 01 with dance dance motions so this is the animation file that i'm going to export it here on my desktop here so i click save Now it already exported as an FBX file again. So I'm going to open the Blender. In the Blender, actually, you can immediately import this. So I'm going to delete all of this as demo. I click File, Import. Import the FBX file from my desktop. It is the name the Asian girl you want with dance. If I double click it. It will immediately import into Blender. Now you can see it is here. So I click here to turn on all the texture. You can see this Asian girl. If I play, she already have the dance. It's already have, have the animations. So if I pause, you also can see the pose. You can see the animation as well. So now you can see this is the animation, the 3D animations that already successfully apply, apply the icon motion file. So that's all for today about how to apply the icon 7, the icon motion file to any of the 3D avatar in your Blender 3.0.
And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!